pregnancy diagnosis in goats. I have just tried to mention all the methods which are available for pregnancy diagnosis in goat. Many people say non-return to estrus, the goat is pregnant, but that is not the appropriate way to detect pregnancy. Then previously rectal palpation and rectal probes were used, but they are not anymore used for uh, pregnancy diagnosis in goats. And the, the, the rectal probe is a crude method and that might also, you have to per rectally introduce uh, this probe and then bang it so that you get fetal bump on that uh, probe. This is, I feel, cruel method. And abdominal palpation many times goes wrong. Uh, you feel remo uh, rumen bump also. And if the rumen is full, full, it is very difficult to feel the fetus. And with this technique, uh, you cannot detect uh, uh, fetus uh, almost for three months. So after three months, this abdominal palpation can be used. Then there are hormonal tests where progesterone assays uh, are done. I will talk about it uh, into later slides. Then you have a Doppler or ultrasonic technique. These are, the ultrasonic technique is uh, unique and there is no way you can go wrong. A laparotomy, you can detect uh, pregnancy, but you have to do surgery and all, and that is not recommended. In laparoscopy also, you can detect uh, pregnancy, but that is also not recommended. Fetal electrocardiography is also used in some of places. And then last is immunologic methods. They are efficient uh, methods and there are a lot of kits these days available even in India and that can be used, uh, which I will uh, talk about in next slides. So let's talk about progesterone assay. Uh, mainly you have to do progesterone assays 18 to 22 days after breeding. So many times you don't know date of uh, breeding if it is a natural mating. In artificial insemination, you can definitely predict. Uh, so you have to count uh, days of uh, after mating. So if the blood is used, the plasma P4, if they are greater than one nanogram per ml, then they say it is uh, pregnant. But accuracy, if we consider uh, 75 to 86% pregnancy uh, is correct. And in non-pregnant animal, 90 to 100 percent the results are correct so the results are that way unreliable in progesterone assays the milk radio immunoassay of progesterone also can be done if it is more than 10 nanogram per ml 86 percent it says they are pregnant the non-pregnant one can be detected very well with the less it has less than 10 nanogram per ml uh, progesterone concentration, they are non-pregnant. The plasma progesterone, the two endocrine status is detected. These assays are very costly and they are not accurate. And there is individual variation, breed variation, which we have to take into consideration. Uh, use of uh, ultrasonography is the best method on your right, you see is an older version of uh, ultrasonograph machine. This is Aloka SSD 500 uh, with the convex probe and that is a linear scanning machine. It gives uh, almost 100% results. On your left, if the blue colored is, uh, that is OB scan, very expensive uh, machine, but you can detect and feed this machine number of fetuses and then you can separate multiple fetal carrying animals and give them extra feeding. This technique is very effective, accurate, but you need trained personnel to perform ultrasonography. And in India, there is a PCPNDT law, which is a preconception prenatal diagnostic tests that are usually used for detection of sex in human beings. But the same law is applied for veterinary. You cannot carry this machine from one place to other place. So field level sonography and di pregnancy diagnosis cannot be done. Uh, now there are portable ultrasonographs, so then mobile apps and uh, such things are also available. 
So you get different brands. If you just go on the web, uh, you will get all these uh, machine details and they can be used for pregnancy diagnosis. Uh, this is a Doppler scan for pregnancy detection. Uh, usually probe is put uh, on abdomen and then you get a beep. Whether uh, if the animal is pregnant, you get beep. Uh, this is mainly very useful in pigs because uh, there are more number of fetuses. In sheep and goats, it has again restricted uses. These are affordable uh, Dopplers, but again, accuracy and results, they are restricted. Uh, you get kits now, bioprint kits or P-test in goats. The bioprint uh, that can detect pregnancy as early as 28 days. For this, you have to have a referral lab. There are about 40 referral certified laboratories all over India. You have to collect blood samples in vacuum tuners uh, supplied by them. And you have to send those samples to the referral lab. And for testing 10 animals, the kit cost is 7,149 rupees, but uh, these, these kits are available on Amazon also, but I'm not sure about their uh, referral laboratories. They say there are 40 laboratories, but I'm not sure about it. Then this is a P-test, what they call. You can collect uh, urine, plasma, milk, and it detects uh, estrone sulfate, which is uh, released in milk serum plasma after 15 to 20 days of pregnancy and this estrone sulfate it is present throughout the pregnancy and this test these are color tests you have to just draw urine sample or milk sample or serum sample and see the color changes in them they are cheap tests but accuracy is doubtful for pregnancy in using this test so recently, uh, this IDEX rapid visual pregnancy test uh, has come into India. They have a lot of uh, tests for various diseases and then uh, some gonadotropins and tests like that. But this uh, test is for pregnancy test. There is, you don't need any ELISA. This is very accurate uh, test. You get results in less than 30 minutes. Whole blood, plasma, and serum. Plasma is EDTA and serum is from blood. So these uh, samples can be used for pregnancy detection. Usually there are pregnancy associated gonadotropins which are present uh, throughout pregnancy. And they have seen 22 pregnancy associated uh, gonadotropins. They are, they are known as on today. Uh, unfortunately, what is the functionality of these uh, PAGs? It's still unknown. These are produced by cotyledonary placentas. They circulate uh, in blood and milk, and they detect uh, 25 days of uh, pregnancy using this kit. So this kit uh, includes uh, 96 well plate. It has a tray and disposable pipettes, and then the accessory pack has a wash bottle precision pipette, and there are four reagents bottles with con convenient dropper caps, which are labeled from one to four for protocols that they have suggested. And um, they just dispense sample and controls with the calibrated precision pipette, dispense all the reagents labeled from one to four. Then you have to keep this, uh, use the reagent, keep it for seven minutes uh, each, each time. And then you have to wash it with the distilled or deionized water. And you see if there is a blue color, the whales appear blue color, then the goat is pregnant. And if it is not blue colored, it uh, is non-pregnant. Uh, the IDEX uh, claims that they have 100% accuracy and this is used even for cattle, sheep, and goats.